we always see repeated patterns around us from floor tiles to wallpapers to fabrics to clothings and so on and on you thinking how these designers make a repeated patterns without any overlaps or gaps or in other words how to create seamless styling pattern or texture this is a video for you yes basically it is called tessellation tessellation is basically both math and art that makes the pattern that fit perfectly together without any gaps let's look at what are the types of tessellation methods and how to create seamless tessellation patterns let's begin there are three types of tessellation one is translation another one is rotation another one is reflection method 1 is translation method in translation method whatever you remove from or add to the geometry you should put it back or remove from the geometry to the opposite edge basically you are sliding a portion from one edge to the opposite edge in the rotation method whatever you remove from or add to the geometry you should put it back to the geometry by rotating it to the adjacent side meaning you rotate the removed portion and placing it on the adjacent side of it in the reflection method in other words mirror method whatever you remove from or add to the geometry you should put it back or remove it from the geometry on the opposite edge but you should mirror it basically you are sliding the portion to the opposite edge and this time you are mirroring it it's within the same edge in this translation method whatever we do on this edge we will be putting it back here basically we are sliding it from here let's do something let's draw the shape okay basically we are sliding it back here we are putting it to the opposite side so just simply move it here to the edge so if you look at here whatever we added here we removed from here on the opposite side okay so whatever we removed from that square we are putting it back to the opposite edge same goes for this side as well let's draw some shape so we need to slide it back here so basically we move it and align it so whatever we have added to the square here we have actually removed it on the opposite edge that's it so if you copy this i'll show you how it works copy all of this let's scale it down a little bit okay move it aside pick one edge okay just copy it and command b it will repeat the pattern do the same thing and set it. see that's it so you actually whatever you put here it will get repeated there so let's look at one example look at this example it's actually a simple bird okay so it can create very nice pattern you can do whatever you want it just so let's look at here see this it let's draw it I'm not perfectly drawing it but just to give you an example okay so you need to slide it up okay select them move it up okay don't worry about the head part because i did not draw it correctly on the bottom so whatever you removed here you added here whatever you removed from here you added here and let's do this side as well let's draw the peak okay let's slide it align it here you see whatever whatever we removed from here we added here on the opposite edge whatever we added here we removed from here and this portion because on the vertically and horizontally we removed it and we added it here okay let's copy this pattern let's scale it down a little bit okay and copy it now on the opposite side so let's do this and command d that's it see it has created the pattern 
that's it so this is basically a translation method so it is you are translating from one edge to the opposite edge so it created a very nice pattern now in this rotation method whatever we put on this edge we will be rotating it on the adjacent side let's draw something let's draw the shape okay now we'll have to rotate it to this edge okay now whatever we put here let's say we'll put this okay we rotate it to this edge doesn't matter whatever the edge is you need to be rotating it to the adjacent edge so let's select this rotate it pick the corner select this side press alt and copy it yeah so it created this pattern now select these okay scale it down a little bit okay, let's keep it here now we need to rotate it so select them go to rotate pick one edge okay press alt okay and command d see it's rotated it's created a pattern now you just simply copy it and paste it here command d now select all of them copy it paste it command d that's it see whatever we put here it will be reflected there so now let's look at the example you see i actually picked up the triangular pattern here just wanted to show you a difference so it's a kind of a bird let's just zoom in here okay let's look at how it works okay okay this pattern basically this whatever we put in this triangle okay we are removing it so we are rotating it here okay okay 60 degree yes see so we did that now we are adding this to this triangular portion okay so we need to remove from the adjacent edge and rotate it so you just pick that rotate it and put 120 degrees yeah you see here and whatever is added here removed here it's added here simple as that same philosophy has been followed here so let's look at so let's draw this okay i picked this i rotated it i rotate it at 120 degrees and copy it and command d see that's all that's all the pattern is very simple so whatever you put it on that shape it will be repeated here so it creates this very nice seamless pattern in this method which is a reflection method basically whatever you put it here you put it on the opposite side you mirror it so let's say you put something here you slide it here okay to this edge opposite edge and then you mirror it same goes for the side as well whatever you put here it will be mirrored on the opposite side so let's draw something okay now let's move it here so basically you will be sliding it here to this edge and then mirror it let's move this slide it and right click transform reflect that's it so if you look at it let's do on this side S slide it okay just position it correctly transform reflect okay just position it correctly you pick the right edge and translate and rotate it will work Push it. 
So now anything we removed from that edge that has been any sorry anything we have added from that edge that has been removed here and mirrored and anything we added in this edge that has been removed from the opposite edge and mirrored. That's a philosophy. That's the idea. So copy it, scale it down. Okay. Now pick one of the corner. Okay. Basically transform, reflect, that's it, done. Now slide it down, transform, reflect, and done. You just position it to the correct corners. Slide it, transform, reflect, that's it. See, it created this pattern. Okay, now select all of them, smooth out, command D, select all of them, and command D. See, it created this pattern. Whatever you put here, it will be reflected here. Let's look at the example. You see, this is a fish actually, it's a very nice elusive pattern. So, if you notice, the fish, both of them are going in one direction, but look at, notice the eyes. It is actually moving from here. Okay, it's moved here and translated. Same thing, it's moved here and translated. And same thing, it moved here and translated. So, if you notice the eyes, you would notice the way how it is translated. So, if you go in here, actually I tried to fit in two fish in one square. So let me draw for one of them, you will understand. So draw it, move it down, translate, done. Same thing for here, move it, translate, position it correctly. That's it. Do the same thing for all of them. So this nose will be always here. So whatever we removed from that, we have added here, whatever we have added here has been removed from there. That's it. So if you do it on the lower side, keep it here, transform, reflect. That's it. So if you position it correctly, it will fit perfectly. That's it. See, that's this is the philosophy. And then that has been mirrored and that has been mirrored. That's it. So it, it has created a very nice pattern. That's it for now. These are the three different types of methods. So I hope this was very helpful. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me a motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to make a video. Thanks for watching.